Dystopian. Hello, it's Bricktopian here, and today I will be having a look at a Lego mock I've made. Uh, this mock is based on the Lego theme of classic space, and I also referenced a lot of building techniques and style of speed champions. This, this particular design I based on muscle cars, because I thought I like muscle car designs, and it has influences of Mustang and all sorts of different other cars as well. I also was inspired by obviously a lot of classic space vehicles such as the all-terrain vehicle and some of the uh, moon buggies. I made it quite detailed, I used mainly the yellow, trans yellow colour, the uh, light grey, not the original light grey but the modern grey, light bluish, bluish grey, and I used the medium blue colour. I also used some trans red for the wheel covers which are satellite dish pieces uh, for here as well and a few other details. I used some hints of black such as the tyres but not a lot else is black. Oh, the wing mirrors are black too. One of the best details of this design is that I managed to use the slope piece that are from the uh, Lego movie sets of Benny's Spaceship, Benny's Space Squad and Benny's Workshop for the print. I managed to include that on the slope brick, which looks really good on the car design. Also, I've got this newish trans yellow windscreen piece, which looks really cool as the main front of the car windscreen. So, obviously, when you see inside, you can see the yellow shining through. I managed to use uh, light grey window frames here on the uh, for the back windows, and I've just filled them in with the normal one by one sized. Uh, glass panel pieces, also in trans yellow. I've put trans yellow 1x2 uh, tiles on the side so you can see those as well. And then I've put some trans yellow plates 1x2 on the top and some trans red tiles there as well. And a few other awesome details such as these trans yellow with black stripes um, tiles that are a 1x4 size which reference the colour scheme that Classic Space uses for adding uh, details on the wings of craft where it has yellow and black. I use these uh, famous nozzle pieces or thruster pieces or loudspeaker pieces whatever you want to call them which are used in a lot of Classic Space stuff including uh, Benny's um, spaceship I believe and also in the one man spaceship set from original Classic Space as well as the Galaxy Explorer. From the original classic space. Um, I use them because they just look really good anyway and they really add to the vibe of the car. Um, the grill is really simply built using uh, brackets with these 1x2 uh, great pieces on which look really good and then I've used some 1x1 cheese slopes in trans yellow there to carry on this overall curved shape that you get at the front. And also I built this sideways on snot bricks and I thought that would turn out really good. Even the main lights are trans yellow to c carry on that space style. To do the wheels I literally just covered normal uh, classics, normal, sorry, normal uh, speed champion style wheels. And I just put a single dish on top that's got a, that's got a single stud underneath. And then that can fit onto the wheel. If you do that. On the top I did a nice little play feature which is that there's a satellite dish piece that can actually uh, lift up so you can pull that up and then you can scan for aliens or minerals or whatever you want and it's just using a clip on uh, a 1x2 plate that's modified yeah with that clip and then I put jumpers underneath two of them that are 1x2 size and then I've centered it on the roof by doing that and obviously you can just fold it down like that. I even included a little dial on the top just for a little bit of detailing on a tile there. This bit's meant to represent a siren. It could be anything, it could just be a normal light, but I thought it could be like a siren. I was inspired for that by the Ghostbusters car, Ghostbusters, the X01, and how it has sirens and different things. Because this sort of has that sort of 
um, Ghostbustery vibe to it, that sort of uh, combat sort of vibe with the big these big sections and everything. And obviously, it drives really well. It's really smooth because of the Speed Champions wheels, and I used the curved mud guards pieces. One thing I added though that this has got that Speed Champions doesn't have is mine. This actually has doors on it that um, open, so you can look inside and put the minifigures in there easier. And it just looks good with the doors. I think they're quite small for the overall size of the car, but I still think they look good and it does work quite well. Uh, the roof is easy enough to remove because you can just pull it off like that, and it's modular. So you've got this section, and then you've got the front section as well. And then as for the back, you've got a nice bumper here, which I'll show you what that's for in a minute. And you've got the double doors and then the red lights for the rear lights. You've got cheese slopes in one by one light grey there, just to add a bit of streamlining to the roof. And then, yeah, the double doors are really good because what you can do is you can actually open them. And there's a miniature car inside, which is supposed to be a remote control car. I know it doesn't have to be, it could just be a normal drone or it could just be a miniature craft or it could be anything you could pretend but I wanted to pretend it's a remote control car and what you do is if you drive forward it actually comes out the back because of this slope bumper. You have to have it facing forward though because otherwise it sometimes rolls over but it makes sense it would come out first face forward anyway, obviously. The little vehicle looks really cute. I love how I did this. It looks really well. I think it turned out really well. It's got it's a very simple build. It's just got them uh, um, skateboard type wheels on the bottom on these modified plate pieces. So it looks like a miniature car and still got four wheels. It's got a one by two plate there in red for the back light, and then it's got single studs in yellow for the front, and then obviously it's got one by two plates in yellow there as well for the whole top windscreen section just added these on the side these like uh sliding plate modified plate pieces whatever you want to call them i just added those because i thought i could um it might give me a bit more uh stability when it drives out the back and also it slots in there into that space in there as well i think doing it like that uh, yeah, I think it just works really well, and I'm pretty pleased of how my mock turned out. And, yeah. So, yeah, there's not a lot else I need to say on it, really. It just turned out really well. I'm surprised how well it actually turned out. Because at first, it took me a lot of tries to try out different designs and shapes to get what I wanted. First, I was going to make it more simple, but over time, it's become more and more detailed, and I'm just happy with it, though. And I feel like it's got enough of reference to Speed Champions like I wanted it to. But without distracting too much from that sort of blocky, small, uh, bulky, classic space look. I think the favorite, my favourite part's got to be the wheels, how they got the trans red. Because I think that just looks really awesome. But I do love the overall shape of the curve at the front. How I managed to get this curve using them bricks, slope brick pieces. And it does have a nice presence to it. It's 8 by 8 studs wide, so it's a reference to the 8 stud wide version of Speed Champions, not the 6 stud version. So obviously it's enough room in there you can actually fit two minifigures. And you can remove this section. And inside you can see it's got controls in there for uh, the passenger and the steering wheel, a gear stick, and just some seat detailing. So you can do you can fit them in there perfectly. You can fit two figures in there, no problem. But yeah, there's not there's not too much I could feel like I should have changed when building this design. I don't think there's a lot I could have done really differently. I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh it just looks good I think. It just looks good. Um I don't know. But yeah, I'd like to put this with some other mocks as well and compare it and see how it looks as a whole display i just think it'd be good to do that but yeah um yeah that's it anyway i'll just show you some uh comparison photographs of what it looks like with some of these speed champion stuff as well as classic space stuff just so you get an idea of the size of it and what it looks like with that but anyway yeah
also yeah i would like i'll show you what it looks like with the uh with minifigures in too but anyway they're just my thoughts on this little mock i made i hope you like it i hope you get inspired by it to make your own designs and uh thanks for watching feel free to like and subscribe and share goodbye